use do you see this pulling and tugging are you seeing this pulling this constant pulling and tugging this was the story of my life at the salon i went to in first Lagos. it's called the face we unisex salon it's for guys and girls so when you enter there's a sitting area and then there's a reception area just for your left and then in front is the male section that's the bobbin salon section and then inside is the female section where all the hair and the manicure and pedicure goes on so that's the layout of the salon now let's talk about my experience so when i got there we negotiated the price and then we started with detangling my hair and let's just say that i did not like the detangling session at all because are you seeing this guys are you seeing this like <laughs> are you seeing what i'm seeing there was no sort of finger detangling done no sort at all there was no gentleness whatsoever <laughs> my hair was pulled and taught to its limit guys it was pulled and taught to its limit any knot that did not give way with pulling was pulled more <laughs> that was it okay so she put this conditioner one thing that i'm glad about is that she was generous about the conditioner so she put the conditioner generously through my hair and guys another thing i don't like about salons is that you don't even know what you're really putting into your hair you don't know the, the products are mostly nameless you don't know the ingredients or the products you don't know if you're putting the sulfate shampoo or a sulfate free shampoo with silicone conditioner or a silicone free conditioner those things those, those ingredients you don't want in your hair you don't know if the products actually contain it but guys let us talk about this talking like she kept doing this particular motion that i didn't understand it was a constant pulling motion i'm like jesus christ he had to stop her that she was literally pulling my head that she should stop like she was pulling my head anyways guys this is my experience so at the um the tangent section she kept saying though that she wanted to please her customers and all and let me just say that when i walked into that salon they told me they were a natural hair salon for oh, guys the lie a big lie this is a natural hair salon who doesn't do this to me <laughs> i know that anyway so she kept saying that um she wanted her customers to be okay she did everything they wanted so when they came and said that this detangler section this would not be me and i would take it gently i would take it in sections so she took some in sections but after that she went back to her big sections and then they said i would finger the tangle first and take it slow slow and section by section they actually said strand by strand which i actually do and then she tried to go finger the tangle i don't know what she was doing but she tried her best <laughs> she tried her best to you know go in sections take it little by little which actually worked until she got tired of it <laughs> i went back to what she was doing so I'm just glad that she was generous about the conditioner because I mean if not where would my head be today? Guys, anyways. So that's it about the conditioning, I mean about the detangling process. Every I was actually saying here that what is the purpose of that constant motion and anyways there you have it guys yes this contemplation this particular one this one can you guys imagine how much pain i would have been in that's the body detangling session guys so we finished the tanking and then we went ahead to wash my hair i loved the washing session apart from the fact that it was very cold water good 
it was so cold so cold guys so cold and then she washed my hair three times she said normally because of the volume of my hair that's why she washed it three times i, I that's the reason why because i only washed my hair once and then she said if my hair was a bit less she would wash it twice and then it'd be less than that one so i don't i don't know the logic of that but yeah she washed my hair three times which makes me feel that my hair would have been so stripped and then I expected that she would follow up with a conditioner but apparently when she puts conditioner in my hair the first time she was conditioning it so my hair doesn't have conditioner again guys that is still in my life so after the shampooing process we went ahead to dry my hair and just put a conditioner yes yeah, she put the mega great deep conditioner because she used it as a leave-in conditioner because she said that the mega good leave-in conditioner usually makes people's hair hard. So she used a deep conditioner and then she braided up my hair. My hair was already so shrunken. <laughs> so shrunken and that was the first one. I should say that after she added the deep conditioner, she combed my hair out in sections again a lot of times. <laughs> before um, leaving it and then this leaving process a lot of people get it wrong like she actually brings her hair out of my head totally with every weave and that made the leaving process actually smooth which i was really grateful for so that's it guys that's my southern experience here the bit of me and all that and all that and all that i didn't like I didn't like the process, I don't think I'm going back there. So this is B. While I was in my hair, B also wanted to do his. He already has his power but since he saw Unit X Salon, watch while this man <laughs> but like three people's hair <laughs> before he decided, okay, I think he's good because he just he doesn't trust just anybody with his hair. So yeah, after like three or four people he decided, okay. I'm going to bob my hair here and I actually like the outcome. He likes the outcome. Bay doesn't trust his hair with just anybody and it was fine. He likes the outcome. I like the outcome. Everybody was happy. And uh, this was um he paid 1k and I paid the um, free side for that. No, so I said this kind of this. That's it. If you're looking for a quick fix, you can go to fix way in sex salon. If you have um relaxed hair, they would treat you well. Um, um if you want to do braids, if you want to do your manicure and pedicure, yeah, I think they are actually good and all those, but they are not and I repeat they are not a natural hair salon. So if you're looking for the natural hair salon experience, that is not the place to go. But every other thing I think that they know their onions and there are a lot of um, people there so you won't waste so much time but it was just one person that worked on me because really i don't think two people can actually do what they did so this is B taking the meal experience <laughs> giving you guys the meal experience <laughs> And all that, you know. So, guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. Look at my baby. <laughs> looking so fine. Anyways, so that is all of my experience. If you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you want me to do more salon series, let me know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.